Well, I think it's mixed in a lot of ways, Tyler. I think you have uh, so many different worries coalescing at once from rising rates from the Federal Reserve and the possibility that they go to a restrictive rather than just normalized monetary policy. These complications with Saudi Arabia, weakness in China. Chinese market was down over 3% last night. Their currency hit a two-year low. Weakness in the European economy and a slowdown in domestic auto and home sales. All of that's weighing on the market right now. And I think that you've got you know, so many of those factors offsetting what have been actually pretty good corporate earnings, although not maybe as strong as some people would have liked in, in terms of organic growth. So I think you really have a confluence of, of factors here that are driving the market down. And after having hit new all-time highs just a couple of weeks ago, the specter of a double top in the market from January through uh, last week or two weeks ago may in fact be in play. Joe, has the mood changed? If so, how much? And what does it say about the future for equities? I don't think that the mood has necessarily changed. What markets are, are dealing with right now are a lot of the same macro headwinds uh, that we've been grappling with for, for some time. Uh, I mean, as Ron pointed out, you're, you're just seeing uh, the end of the cycle type of stuff coming through in the economic data. What's important, though, for investors to remember is that while all this is happening and we're dealing with all these external factors and these stresses on the markets, uh, the underlying fundamentals, some of the underlying fundamentals and corporate profits in particular, which Ron also touched on, uh, still look quite strong. We've got just under 20 percent uh, having reported so far, and the results still look encouraging. But so same ahead, headwinds, same headwinds, they've been the same, you said the same ones we've been dealing with for months now, with the exception of the Khashoggi uh, uh, matter, uh, but why has, the, why has the market reaction been so different? I think markets needed some consolidation after the rally that we've seen over the past few months. Uh, and, and let's be clear, what we've been talking about here with Italy putting forward its budget to the European Union now for, for some time, uh, we expected uh, that there was going to be some pushback. And this is all happening at a time where global central bankers are becoming slightly less accommodative at the margin, or at least talking uh, about becoming less accommodative, uh, certainly in, in the quarters and in the year to come. This has ultimately manifested itself in the form of higher levels of volatility. It's more choppiness. It's something I think that we've all been mm -hmm. expecting to see in the markets. While it's never pleasant, we never like to actually go through with it, uh, this is something that we were kind of expecting. Ron, do you, feel like, do you feel like a lot of market strategists, chief investment officer types are too complacent about what's happening in the markets? And I, I ask this only because so many people say, you know what, the volatility is to be expected. We're at the stage of the expansion. We've got all these worries going on. And yet you take a look at the market action and we've lost our leadership group. I mean, a lot of those FANG stocks yeah. topped back over the summer, for that matter. We're losing industrials. We're losing transports. We lost the Russell 2000 uh, earlier this month. I mean, what the internals are telling me is that there is real concern here about the economy. Yeah. And Melissa, I think that's a great point. And it was one that I was hoping to bring up, which is that we've seen technical deterioration of the stock market. To Dom Chu's point, the transportation average now pulling back sets up the possibility. And, and again, this has not been entirely reliable in re the recent past of a Dow Theory sell signal where the transports go down as the Dow Industrials made a new all-time high. There's a not what they call non-confirmation there. The advanced decline line's not been that strong. In fact, it's begun to roll over. The number of new highs continuously exceeds the number of new lows uh, on the New York Stock Exchange. And so those are some warning signs. The Russell, as, as has been shown earlier, in correction territory, we, we, we've seen the loss of leadership and that technical deterioration. That happens typically in stock market cycles before you see fundamental deterioration. The market usually gives you a pretty good heads up that we could see some change in the composition of the economy down the road.